In this video, we are going to introduce the importance of the use of social network analysis to inform learning design. It has been widely recognized in educational research that learning design can influence learners' decisions. By learning design, we mean the set of activities that are envisioned in the original course design that the instructors and course facilitators may require their students to take. Therefore, when analyzing data about learning uh, that may happen in learning environments and applying any kind of learning analytics techniques, it is essential to account for the instructional conditions and the learning design activities that our students requested to take inside of a course. Otherwise, if those are not taken into account, incomplete picture about the course and the course interpretation results may happen. In the case of social network analysis, we already understood from the previous week that the use of this technique can help us to detect patterns of interaction which may happen in online learning environments, but also in classroom discussions. For example, in the paper uh, authored by the group of authors led by Laurie Lockyer, they looked into the use of social, learn, social network analysis for understanding of its influence uh, on learning design. They provided an example in which they offered an insight into instructor-centered network. Those uh, instructor-centered network are quite common in many courses that are primarily used for question answering. In those forums, we can see that always uh, the instructor who is the central node of the network all other students are just there to ask typically just questions and rarely interact with each other. These forms are also recognized in the research literature as not so effective and they are typically leading to the lower levels of knowledge construction. Rather, instructors should be aiming for the uh, social networks and the discussion forums in particular where students are taking the dominant role. However, similar configuration of the network may also be observed where a, student, uh, where a single student may also play a central dominant role. Again, this is not a desirable condition and rather a desirable condition is to have all the peers in the network which are having a similar network position. In these situations, we can see that each individual student in the network is equally contributing to the network and knowledge uh, generation. At the same time, each individual is also integrated into the network. Therefore, it is recommended by Lockyer and all to use social network analysis to monitor the effectiveness of learning designs. That is to say, if the purpose of learning design is to have a group of students who are equally contributing to their learning activities, but at the same time the role of the instructor is to help the students to establish early links and to start building the comfortable atmosphere so that they can easily interact with each other, that in the first part of the course we can then envision that early instru instructor facilitated discussions is desirable, which enables students to start using the discussion forum or any media envisioned in the particular course. And then in the remainder of the course, instructor is uh, requested or advised to use social network analysis to follow what is happening inside of peer interactions. This can be best illustrated by a network uh, that is shown in this slide. And this network illustrates that we have early facilitation of the instructor, where the instructor is the cent most central node of the network. That is to say, the instructor aims to participate in most of the interactions and exchanges or potentially trends that may happen in an online discussion forum. However, as the discussions are developing, the role of the instructor should be more as any other node in the network and students themselves should start shaping their instructions and interactions with their peers. Therefore, in this particular case, we can see the change network configuration, which indicates that the instructor is just yet another node in the network and the rest of the students occupy now the important or equally important nodes or positions in the network. With this, we can see how learning analytics in general and social network analysis can inform learning design.
That is to say, how learning analytics and social network analysis can help instructors see what is happening inside of their classes. And based on these types of insights, instructors can start intervening. For example, one intervention could be if the instructors couldn't observe or provide a manageable uh, evolution of the discussion forums in their uh, classes where they would not be co-occupying certain roles, they would come up with additional types of uh, educational strategies. For example, in some of those strategies, they would be providing a certain type of a scaffold to their students, guiding them how to engage into online discussions. In some cases, they would be even requesting them to provide a type of the particular messages that students may be then going into the deeper level of cognitive processing when they are uh, generating their messages, but at the same time that will be also an important trigger for their peers inside of the discussions in which they will then start to engage into deeper level of knowledge construction. Concluding this short video, I would like to draw your attention to further investigate this topic by reading the paper by Lockyer and Yol that we presented. Thank you for your attention.